Good morning, everyone. Morning. I was asked to share my story with you all, and I would be glad to do that because I believe in inspiring others. I'm 31 years old and a mother of three, a single mother. Uh, unfortunately, a, worthless, a mother's worst nightmare happened to me. I lost all of my children five years ago in um, a tragic accident. And their ages were eight, three, and one. My daughter, she was eight years old, her name was Jordan. My sons were Corey and Cameron, three and one. They were my life. I was a teenage uh, mother, so everything stopped when I had them. My responsibility was to take care of them and make sure their goals and dreams were met. So everything stopped for them. When they passed away, it was, it was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. But my faith, my courage, and my strength, and my family, and also a community, and just the fact of knowing that they're still watching me is what made me push on. I could have given up that night. I could have let it go. I could have moved into drugs. I could have thought of ending my own life at times. I could have done all of that, but I didn't because I believe in second chances. And UST Global is a second chance. I've been struggling to find a career. I've been going to job to job, doing my best because not only is it my character, but because I know some there's little angels watching me. So I've been doing my best just for people to just say, you know what, thanks for your time, but we're done using you up. With Step It Up America, a program that's gonna actually train me and help me deal with issues if I can't, per, you know, go on with them, a company that's gonna that's willing to just sit down with me and say, hey, you don't get it, don't worry about it, we'll help you get it. A, a company with integrity, loyalty, and stability and longevity and a goal and a future. Technology is the future, period. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's needed in every field, every field you can think of from fast food to retail to politics, everything, education. Even the little ones are starting to use smartphones better than their parents. It's, it's insane. And this program is giving me even more hope, even more courage, because I can actually see myself in my own office five years from now, happy, not only happy, but knowing that they're happy for me, knowing that my family is happy for me. So no matter the circumstances, where you come from, what you've been through, we all have a story. We all do. And you just can't let it get you down. Don't accept someone else's no when you know you have the ability to do it. If I can lose my world in one night and still get up in the morning, anybody can. <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to be real quick. Funny thing, how I came about to the program. On my daughter's birthday, which was June 4th, I wanted to lay in bed and just cry myself to sleep. I had made a promise to a friend of mine to take them to ITT Tech to register for school. And I could hear my daughter saying, Mommy, come on, get up. You know, this is not like you. I just want you to be happy. I wanted to just stay in the bed. And I'm like, you know what? I'm a woman of my word, so I'm going to take this friend to ITT Tech and have them register for school. I'm there in my own world thinking about my kids, and I was presented with this opportunity. That's what you call divine destiny. When the world gets you down, you will lose the ability to get up and seek an opportunity. You can miss doors that are open for you because you're wallowing in your hurt and in your pain. That is not life. But that being said, <laughs> I just wanna thank everyone for this opportunity and I hope my story touches someone and makes them believe that they're able to do anything and inspires somebody to just get up Live life, remember, and be missed. With that being said, I want to 
I want to welcome, <laughs> I want to introduce the Honorable Mayor Rahm Emanuel, the man who's keeping integrity in Chicago with the sincerity in his heart. I am so proud to have that honor. <laughs>